river flows, it flows to the sea. Through the ages, Pittsburgh rivers have welcomed a variety of floating vessels, from hand paddle canoes to mighty stern wheelers, barges, and even some pretty unlikely flotilla. But this year, these patient waters are parted by something they've never seen before. It's the Formula One power boat, a fragile plywood shell driven by 380 pounds of V8 engine. It feeds on high octane fuel and takes the narrow Allegheny at 140 miles an hour with no brakes. Would I do that? Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too young to commit suicide. It may seem like suicide to the spectator, but to men like Tom Percival of England and Roger Jenkins of Wales, racing these monsters has a certain charm. It makes the adrenalines to run, all the noise, the excitement, the hustle and the bustle. I think it's absolutely marvellous. The first time that I'm nervous, I'll never drive a boat. I drive it because I want to drive it. If I was afraid to go out there, I'd pack in, I'd quit now. Far from quitting, Jenkins joined 15 other European drivers and traveled halfway around the world for this. It's America's first Formula One Grand Prix, and it's right here at Pittsburgh's Three Rivers Regatta. I'm fairly sure I'm going to win it. I'm rooting for uh, the Carlsberg boat. No, they're all males out there. I really don't care who wins. <laughs> I'd love to see an American win this race. It'd be an excellent achievement for us. There's only one American competing in the Formula One class. That's Jimbo McConnell from Wonder Lake, Illinois. He wants to win the $10,000 prize money, the world championship points, and this golden lady on the Mayor's Cup. Naturally, I'm not going to say, no, I don't want it. I say, you betcha, I'll take that sucker. <laughs> Jimbo's advice for himself in this race is watch out for the Italian, defending world champion Renato Molinari. Renato Molinari. He's so sneaky and believe you me, he knows his stuff also. It's not just a game with him because he does it for a reason, to excite the other drivers to know what's happening. And it doesn't get to me as much as it would be to somebody else because I'm trying to figure out how I can get to him. <laughs> Renato doesn't quite agree with Jimbo's opinion of him as sneaky. Renato says it's not true. I mean, uh, I don't think I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky only when I win. The psychology of winning calls for a boat that looks as mean as it is. Jimbo's got an advantage here. His sponsor is Giltspur Expo Industries, a Pittsburgh company whose specialty is exhibit design. They've colored his boat sleek, black and red to grab the eye. When I was first given the request for the design, um, the minute they mentioned it was a race boat, the graphics came to mind. John Hinderleader of Giltspur put his sweat and determination behind the drawing board to deliver a boat guaranteed to psych out Jimbo's competitors. I think it looks um, threatening <laughs> in the water. <laughs> and uh, it looks fast just sitting there. And that was the whole intention of it. Uh, it's out of this world. I'm prejudiced naturally, but I think it's the sharpest boat out there. You know, I just think it's fantastic. Looking sharp and going fast is only part of the battle. Now the pit crew takes over. Their final touches make the difference between victory and tragedy. I've just got the best crew in the whole world. You give them your love is the most important thing that you can give to any pit crew because you love them. Without them, you're nobody. I'm apprehensive. I'm, uh, I'm making sure that we've done all our homework, that everything is tight, that all the gear is in the right place at the right time. Jimbo, Renato, myself, it's going to be one hell of a race today. I think most important is to is to drive consistently and with safety. Um, you know, I'm not going to win a boat race if I turn the thing on its back.
Julian Bowles might have to swim ashore yet. So what a pity. In the final laps, Jimbo blows a hole in the rear of his boat and starts sinking fast. He is out of the race. The Italian, Renato Molinari, is the victor. In the end, it doesn't seem to matter who won. The spirit of sportsmanship is what really counts. And then, the spirit of celebration takes over. Some pub is going to take a terrible taste in this evening. We have a full team out. To, our drinking team will be going tonight. So for these pilots of the first American Powerboat Grand Prix, it's on to Europe to complete the world champion circuit. They take with them memories of a bold race on Pittsburgh waters, and Pittsburgh's rivers will never forget them. The river flows, it flows to the sea. Wherever that river goes, that's where I want to be. Flow, river flow, let your waters wash down.